Hello everybody, Farm Sim Guy here, welcome back to the northern coast. We have just finished ploughing field 2, so we've got a nice little chunk of fields here, ready for some sowing action. Um, so we'll run this guy back to the farm. It's been a couple of weeks since we've been on the northern coast actually. Um, as you all know by now, the, the channel's kind of gone a bit crazy. Um, a lot of new subscribers, and a lot of uh, new maps and content being delivered including the DLC, which I hope you're all enjoying if you've downloaded it. But uh, I thought to take a little visit back to the northern coast. Such a good map. Had an update last week. Um, and Greenbale's done a brilliant job, but again, just tidying a few little things up. So let's pop the Massey back in the yard. We do have a lot of sowing to do now. What we'll do is we'll check how the cows are doing as well. Now we've got our cows in situ on the farm. Uh, they're looking pretty happy. A little bit more straw required, but in general, they're looking pretty comfortable and cosy. So we will let them crack on with it for now. And we will jump into the big case. And we'll continue to seed this field. And try and get this completed and try and get as much sowing as we can done today. I do believe we had uh, GPS set up for this last time, but I didn't save the course before quitting out of the game, which is uh, a basic error. So I will just get that set back up, and uh, we'll jump into a little time lapse and get this field finished. <laughs> We'll just finish off these headlands here, that's uh, a good job done with this field. Um, you'll notice that there is some crop that's been left in this field, and this isn't a direct drive drill, so it doesn't cultivate before it plants. So I've got a little bit of an issue when it comes to uh, harvesting this, because I do believe that this in the corner is oats. Uh, we'll just jump out and do a check actually. Uh, it's wheat actually. So this is wheat, but we're putting soybeans in here so what will happen certainly if we use coarse play with the combine is that uh, it will get to the point where there's mixed crop in the field and won't want to uh, combine it so let me just turn this on um, so we'll just need to be mindful of that in an ideal world I would have ploughed that under as you see there it just runs over it and doesn't allow it to uh, be seeded down into the into the new field so yeah frustrating that one but we'll uh, we can work our way around it we can run the combine normally we just can't run course play on some of those points so we might just have to be aware of that but like I said no big deal just something we've got to work through so we'll just get these uh, headland finished and I think I've got a row down this side that I can uh, switch the GPS back on for we left one row at the side to get down to the bottom and do that that uh, bottom headland. So let me just turn this on. There we go. There's the very field edge. Um, 
just because of the shape of the field this means we're just going to have to come back and do that bit at the end but no big deal and then we've got a lot of ploughed fields so as you can see over to our right there there's another field waiting and up there next to the farm I think in fact every field is now ploughed and waiting to be planted so this is going to be a big day of planting here on the northern coast um, we'll put a mixture of crops in well, we've got soybeans here. This is a planter, not a seeder as well, so we'll need to get a second device to uh, seed the other fields, I do believe. I can't remember what this is. I think this just does soybeans and corn. Uh, now, we did talk about doing maize harvest, actually, so I wonder if we run maize in the other fields, get a large silage um, cut of maize, and um, we can run that down to the biogas and make some money that way. So that could be quite good fun. Doing something a bit different. Get the forage harvesters out. So that's what we'll do. We'll leave this as a field of soybeans. And the rest we will plant as maize for forage. Not for corn. So let's just lift this implement here. There is a little tiny bit we missed on the way around. Can turn the GPS off now, we don't need that. Just a little bit in the middle of the field here. And then we'll move on and jump to the next field. Just a couple of triangles here and then we're done. So yes, we'll move on to corn for the next field and get planted on that. I do love this Case Magnum, such a good tractor. So much power. So much power. Okay, I think that's us, other than this tiny little bit at the start of the field. So I hope you're enjoying this Northern Coast series. It would be great if you uh, want to see something specific happen. Uh, feel free to leave a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see on this on this specific series, because I do know I'm doing a lot of US stuff at the moment, which seems to be very popular. But I would like to keep some some British maps going, some European maps going, so um, I'm open to anything that you guys would like to see happening. Okay, now let's work out what I'm supposed to, I can't remember actually how this works. I think I need to obviously turn it off, uh, and I think I unfold it, fold the sewer, just drops the wheels down, there we go. You actually tow this sideways, which is quite cool. Drop it down, unhitch it, and then we can run round. And pick it up. So, let's get into this next field. Let's get this fired up and get some corn in the ground. Well, I have to say, he's looking like he's making a rapid progress through this field. So while he's doing that, I think what we need to do... Uh, I realised that we didn't sell our grain from our last harvest. So we've got a silo full of grain that we should be flogging. We've only got 63,000 in the bank at the moment, and I know we're prepping for the new uh, harvest. But we do have 
um, a lot of grain in the uh, in the shed. So let's go and have a look at that and see if we can see if we can sell it. Drop that trailer off. And we do have a grain trailer sitting in here somewhere, so hopefully we'll be able to manoeuvre it underneath and get it filled up with quite a large large amount of grain. And then we need to find out where the cell point is, because actually I've never had a look at where the cell point is on this farm. So let's get loaded up first, and then we'll have a look at the map and find out where to sell it. Now we do have a mixture of grains, I, if I recall, because there was different crops on the farm. So let's uh, just manoeuvre it over the loading point. Now I do believe if I press R now, yes there we go, we've got 45,000 litres of wheat, 56 of barley. So just wheat and barley. So I think, let's just load the wheat up first. Now won't it all go in here? I don't believe it will. Might need to do a few runs. That fills up relatively quickly, doesn't it? It's about 23,000 litres in this trailer. This is one of the nice Bailey trailers. Oh no, crikey. 32,500. That's a big load. Okay. Um, and I think we will go and sell it. There's United Grain down there. Is that the only sell point? Coastal exports up there. Let's have a look at our let's have a look at our prices here. So coastal exports or United Grain. Yeah, United Grain is definitely the better option. So let's run this guy down to United Grain in the town. I'm even gonna go as far as to turn on my beacons. As I always forget. And it's really the right thing to do on the road, so let's head down to United Grain and see how much money we're going to get for this. the very first time I've headed into the town. I've been so busy on the farm, I've never ventured beyond the shop. So this is all new to me. Now hopefully there's a signpost, or I could just take my chances. A rough estimate I know where I'm going. I believe if I turn here I'll probably be in roughly the right direction. It's beautiful down here. Beautiful. Right, let's see if Northern Grains... I'm, I'm almost reluctant to look at the map. Let's see if we can do this on our own. Let's see if we can do this on our own. Nice house there for sale, if anybody's interested. Um, let's turn in here. It definitely looks like some kind of commercial buildings in there. Might have approached it from the wrong angle. I see some grain silos for sure. The road does appear to go that way. Should do well. Oh, it's nice to be driving in a cab. I haven't done that for a while. The fuel station. I'm looking for an entrance. Definitely in there. You can see the silos. I do believe there might be an entrance coming up here. So I could have carried on round if I'd wanted to where I took that first turn, but. I do believe, here we are, Northern Grain. This could be the cow auction, so I'm in the wrong place. Oh well, this could be fun, couldn't it? Let's see how difficult it's going to be to reverse here. I think we might be alright. Utilise that gate there not such a long trail of this, so we are all good. Yes, I uh, peaked, peaked a turn early there. Could have just 
kept on going a little bit further. I do believe... Maybe even that's not what we're looking for. No, that's the milk cell point, I do believe. So here we are. Let's hope. Third time lucky. This is where we want to be. Northern Grain. I suppose we better go on the way bridge. I'm lost. Nothing like doing a little bit of research before you uh, united grain. Is this our tip point? It is. Okay, so we just dump it on the ground. I've not seen that before. I guess I'm just scooping it up and processing it in the shed. So there we go. And at that point as well, we've finished seeding the field back up on the farm. So, there we go. Getting this trailer unloaded nice and quickly. That's topping up the coffers. 23,000, just over, in the bank. So not bad at all. We'll head back to the farm with this. Um, and we'll set the magnum up for another field of planting. So we'll be back shortly. Okay, that's us just back in the yard, just reversed up to the pipe. And um, what we'll do is, uh, before we load up another trailer, we will go and sort the case out and get it planting in the next field. We're making really good progress today, so um, let's get another field done. Like I said, a really uh, sterling job there. By the case, he's all sorted. Now, I wonder if we can get this through the gate. We definitely can't. I thought it collapsed a little bit, but it doesn't. It just brings the wheels out, so we're going to have to... Uh, take it through the gate, uh, unhook it, drive it through the gate, and then reattach once we're through. So what we'll do, we'll get that sorted, and we will set up courseplay, and we'll get it running on the next field. So we'll be back shortly. there we have it. Another field done. We are uh, making good progress with these. Hopefully he'll just stop in a minute when he reaches the end of his row. I have got a bit of a gap at the top of the field which I might just run over um, and make sure that that's tidied up. But we are done which is great. Um, I'm going to fold that back up because we haven't quite finished as much as he would like to. Well, that's three fields. Three fields done already today, um, plus a big chunk of grain down to the silos and sold, so a bit of money made as well. Um, we will get this field done. Um, I think we'll call it there for an episode. Uh, we'll probably just go and run another truck down to the silos with the rest of the wheat. Um, and we'll uh, leave it there as a, a pretty positive episode. Lots covered, so that's great. 
and um, we will see you again very soon on the northern coast so from me for now um, thank you very much for watching and supporting the channel it's much appreciated um, I am the farm sim guy and I will see you all again very soon bye for now